Hello, this is Toby with Roby from NerdSociety.com. Here to give you another tutorial in the Warcraft 3 World Letter. Um, this time, I'm going to answer five questions asked by different viewers. Five different viewers. Um, I couldn't remember the names or what they asked, so I had to write it down right here. Um, uh, Paul Christian 14 asked, how do you change the starting goal? Homey clone. Asked about how do you create these RPG camera views? Uh, Matthew Paddy, how do you create unit, unit, custom unit with buildings? Uh, how like you can create your own custom units in, and you know how to create item heroes to buildings like a tavern or item shop. Uh, and kid from East asked how do you create your own, you know, your own custom abilities or edit abilities. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, all these questions are the simplest, so I'm going to start by doing the uh, object editor questions. By Matthew Patty, Jason Seth, and Kid from East. Alright, so first, open your object editor, obviously. Um, and if you want to create a custom unit or just edit, uh, you know, a uh, melee unit doesn't matter you can do the same with both uh, with the custom unit or the melee unit so uh, it takes you all to load the object error as usual my computer's running kinda slow right now so you must excuse me ah oh, come on yeah and by the way you can not only like edit uh, units and items and abilities, but you can also have up upgrades and stuff. But I'm not going to show you that in the in these tutorials. Um, so how do you create like um, a building which can create other units? Um, if you want to create your own custom unit, just do like that. Like uh, base it on a barracks and click OK to create a new. I'm not going to create a new custom barracks. I'm just gonna show you real quick. So, um, I'm gonna show you um, two di different things. How do you train your own, um, uh, make a building, train your own custom units, and how do you make a building being able to upgrade itself? Uh, so, uh, y y if you wanna add uh, units trained, in other words, the yeah the units the building is training so just open that you can just delete this add unit and if you want a custom unit you just go up here click custom and if you have any custom units they will pop up right here and you can just pick those if you want a melee unit you can just pick a melee unit like for example I want to train oh, a knight only yeah, and that's how you do that. And how do you make a, a building upgrade? You know, being able to upgrade. You just do this. You know, uh, upgrade to upgrades to, and add a building, eh, or a unit. Simply, you want a barracks to upgrade to a farm, kind of a degrade, but <laughs> whatever. And uh, and you'll see that it will add this little icon. In the building and you can click on it and it will upgrade or degrade to a farm yeah uh, you can also add multiple upgrades and units trained and uh, now over to the uh, next question and that was how do you create these item item or hero buildings where you can buy heroes and, I and items um, uh, I'm gonna show you that real quick. Uh, just go to neutral passive uh, buildings, goblin merchants. You go way up here and you see abilities normal, and up here you'll see uh, these uh, abilities. These are like the uh, required abilities that you need when you're creating an item shop or a hero shop. Um, invernable not really needed, but I would use that because you don't want them to destroy the item shop. And so it'd be invernable. Select hero, you need that so it can select the hero. And yeah, 
uh, shop purchase item uh, that's so it can sell items so that's the abilities you need and if you want to add any items to the building go way down find items sold and you can just add item edit item delete item yeah and if you want like a custom item you see it's not any custom you can't click here and click custom so you'll have to scroll way down way down here and wait in here and there right there your customer items will be you can't like pick customer in here it doesn't work so yeah cancel all right so I show you that and I'm gonna show you how to fix the starting money stuff um, open your uh, trigger editor um, just delete all these so you'll end up with one event map initialization if you click event the first thing that pops up is the map initialization so just pick that and action for, uh, click P set properties set property to play red current girl to 750 and you can pick you know do this you know if you want the starting one to be 1000 you can just change that to 1000 or 100 uh, or the lumber if you want to do that you know like that pretty simple and if you wanna like uh, add a lumber and gold to all players without having to copy this and paste in player blue and player teal and whatever you can just do like that a new action hook P uh, find uh, player group pick every player in all players and do uh, uh, set picked sorry um, pick player current lumber to 100 so all players would get a hundred lumber or set the lumber amount to 100 or or gold or whatever if you want that if you want that and I'm going to show you how to do the um, hero camera thing uh, and, yeah. and I'm just gonna do this, this real quick or uh, in a real basis uh, let's say you had a region uh, and you want when uh, the unit enters the region, you want them to get a hero cam. Yeah, and that's how, how it's gonna work. So, cam, I create a new event, unit enters region. Of course, you can pick any event if you want, like map installation or time ellipsis, five seconds, or whatever. Doesn't matter, the uh, action will work anyway. So, and configure, configure action. Um, Go ahead and find cam uh, camera uh, look camera target unit. So look camera to target for player red owner of unit owner of entering unit. So owner of entering unit to which unit? the entering unit offset by this is uh, if you want the camera to go more to the left or more to the right so if you had 50 here the camera would like you'll see the unit from in the center of the cam you'll see him like here about so uh, the um, camera will go build a little bit too much to the left so I'll just take zero zero here and default rotation is fine. So now you'll see uh, the camera following the unit wherever it goes. And yeah, that's how you create like a hero RPG cam thingy. You could do those things. You know, I've seen those camera which follows the unit's movements exactly. So when the unit turns, the camera follows. So it'd be like a first person view. But uh, then you have to wait more advanced. You have to move the camera each time the unit moves. In the same angle and blah 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 takes forever. This is okay, but if you want to do it the more advanced, you can just ask me. I can tell you how to do it. Not not too much big of a deal really. Uh, but uh, that was that. Uh, finish tutorial. Uh, hope you um, guys who asked the questions learned something. Hope you understood my uh, tutorial. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next tutorial and. Uh,